Hi, I'm Steve Gordon, and with me today is the owner of GrapesWine.com, John Kaplan. John, how are you? Steve, it's great to see you. How are you? I am so good. It is great to see Excellent. you, too. Excellent. You know, it's summertime, and uh, a lot of people's drinking habits change. I see today we have a rosé in front of us. What makes rosé such a great summertime wine? Rosé is the ultimate summer wine. It's clean, it's fresh, and it's just perfect on a hot summer's day, just all by itself. Great as an aperitif, and really screams of summer. It's the, the way to go in summer. So, you know, John, one of the things I know in, in my home uh, is that as we turn into the warmer weather, we barbecue a lot, we like to mm -hmm. go down to the beach, we do a picnic. You know, during the winter, I, I prefer sort of a heavier wine, but I notice that in the summer, we like to chill a bottle of rosé. It goes down, it's sweet, it's crisp. Uh, I assume that that's probably true for a lot of your clients. Absolutely correct. A lot of people think of rosé as basically a blend or a mix of red and white wine, which is pretty much not the case. Um, Rosé is made from red grapes. You can make rosé from Cabernet, you can make rosé from Rhone varietals like we have today. And what many people don't know is that the color of a wine comes from its skins. So when you see a great Cabernet that's big and rich and bold, it has spent a lot of time on its skin to get that color and that richness. What they do when they make rosé is they leave red wine grapes on their skins for a very, very short period of time. Just enough time for it to get this kind of pinkish hue uh, that the, we see today. This is an absolutely and beautiful color. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And basically, you're drinking a red wine made in a different way. Fresher, same flavors, but again in a fresher style. And it's kind of like making a red wine in a white wine way. You, you, you doing the, you basically bleeding it for a short period of time and then the rest of the process is very much like you would make a white wine. But what people love about it is you're getting the flavors of a red wine in a much fresher, crisper style that's just absolutely delicious on a hot summer's day. So you would wholeheartedly recommend that if somebody were to have a picnic, a barbecue, uh, just be outdoors after a ball game and want to have something uh, sophisticated in the form of a wine that you would recommend to chill a beautiful rosé? Absolutely. They're great values, they're some world class. Uh, we have a bandol in front of us which is one of the great regions from Provence that makes rosé. But today quite honestly rosé is made all over the world from pretty much every red grape. You should try them. They're perfect for summer. They can be nice and light like this which we call a white wine lovers rosé more. And then you could have others that, let's say, from the Malbec grape that are much darker in color and are kind of more like what I call a red wine lover's rosé. They will make your summer. You have to get rosé for summer. It's the way to go. Well, you heard it from John Kaplan, owner of GrapesWine.com. Whether you love red wine or white wine, if it's summertime, it's time for rosé. John, great Steve, to see you. it's great to see you. Cheers. Don't forget to follow Grapes Wine on Facebook at GrapesWine.com. And also, for VIP specials and update information, text the word WINE to 57711, and you'll be the first to know about all the new wines that come into Grapes Wine. And I, I just want to add something, Steve. Steve's become a great customer of Grapes. He loves what we do. I do. He's become a great ambassador for what we're all about, and uh, we love working with him. And we love working with you. Cheers. Cheers. Good to see you.